presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, George, in Newport, Richie. George, what's going on, brother? Hello, Tom. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing great. Yourself? Yeah, great. I've been following you for the last two years, listening to your show. Well, thank you very much. Nice I appreciate it, Judge. All the hard work you've done for us over the years. Well, I really appreciate and, you calling uh, and saying hi. My pleasure, Tom. Okay. Listen to your show. Thank you, man. Have a great one. A safe Have one. Day. Appreciate it, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great month, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your lover. And every kiss and every touch you feel, you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 20, NASDAQ up 65, S&P's up nine and a half. Gold, gold contract up $36.70, trading at 23.18. You got silver up a buck 24, $27.16 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $85.45 a barrel. Copper, copper's up 14 and a half cents, folks, 421.35, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note. Up three ticks, trading 109.26. The 30 year up two at 117.25. And King Dollar. King Dollar is giving it up once again, down 556 ticks, trading 104.260. Euro 108. Yen 151. British Prime 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, what we have out here is that you have a market that continues to want higher price. What we had, out, what happened yesterday is that when we went down, the S&P had around the same amount of volume, but the NASDAQ composite and the NDX 100 had a contraction of volume. That's why you see in the bounce, what we got out here today is that you got the aspect that the dollar start giving it up, that puts juice inside the S&P. Right now the SPY is up a buck, and now, now the SPY has, that, this is light volume on the SPY. That being said, man, we're going to the highs again. The NDX, it, you're gonna see the difference now, the three Qs, the three Qs have volume out here compared to the, the SPY. So the Qs right now have already done 30 million, you're, at, you're up a buck 45, and it's going for the highs once again, man. That's the bottom line. I'm gonna I'm gonna shift right now to the dollar because the dollar, you know, we've been up, gold's been up tremendously, and the dollar's been up. Now what you're gonna see out here is that the dollar's giving it up. It went what the dollar did. Now check this out, man. The dollar went up and it did it yesterday. It tested the high of February 13th yesterday. Now we don't have volume on the dollar, so it's not like you gotta a failure on price and volume. You get a failure on price. That being said, and then what we have out here today is that because you have wide price spread, what you what you have is that oops. Let me just get this. You're gonna see the dollar basically is coming down with conviction and it's just it hasn't broken I was uh, it hasn't broken the counter trend uptrend just yet. I thought it actually did, but it didn't because what happens is that, yeah, it hasn't done it yet. It's right at the line. So that's telling me what we're gonna see out here tomorrow is that you're gonna see another acceleration down on the dollar, up in the market. Because the way this is laid out right now, this is laying right on the trend line. It'll blow through that trend line. You know, you get the wide price spread out here today. And then if we get over and we go take a look at the gold contract, what you're gonna see is just you know, this is the C to D of an ABC structure on the way up. And you're already at 2317. 
25.50 is the A to B equals C to D. Now, that's only the one-to-one, -one, A to B equals C to D. You get 236,000 contracts. That's huge contract volume inside the gold market. Now, check this out. Silver is going to start catching up. We go over to the silver market. We take a look at silver, and what you're going to see out there, silver's up a buck 21. <coughs> excuse me, a uh, buck 24. And, you know, you get, we've get well, we have a silver now. You get, you get two big price days. We're going to get another one. They come in threes, folks. So silver's down 129,000 contracts. There's great contract volume. Now we're going to go to copper, man. HGA. This is phenomenal, man. And cop copper, you know, was really the one that's been giving it away. If you get the gold report, you know that I've been into this when it first was 405. Then I was like, man, this thing wants to go. And sure enough, the bottom line is that you're up 14 cents, which is just a monster move, man. And let's see how this is shaking out. So, so we got an ABC up. Okay, so let's look at this for a second. So we got... You get 4.14. Oh, this is a beauty, man. Okay. 31. I see. Okay. That's interesting. So 31. 4.31. 4.26. Okay. The A to B equals C to D in copper is 4.26. Now, HG1. Let's do this. And bring this all the way back. So we can, I, I get this on a, I'm going to put this on a monthly on a generic commodity shot to see where we're going. Yeah, so I knew, the, I knew there was a 420, what is it, 427? It must be 427. I don't know, it's 435. So 435, we're on the way to 435 right now. That's the bottom line. And the highs that are up there is 505. So, this thing's on the move, man, in a monster way, too. So, let's go, let me just look at this SCCO for a second. This is the largest copper company out there. Yep, hitting another new high. TGB, Tseco, Tseco's got a huge amount of copper, smaller stock, but the bottom line is that when you get copper that high, forget it. It's up nine pennies. This is a 242. Let me see the next swing point on this baby. Oh, this is going to get cool. Okay. Let me bring this back for, further because you're coming up. I just put this on a 10-year. I'm going to put it on a 20-year because we're coming up to the top of the consolidation. Oh, this is nice. You're coming up to the top of the consolidation, and we break this top of the consolidation. You are going to see action here, man. Is that a high-volume high? Volume high? It's not bad. What is that? Price is that? That's seven dollars. This thing. Take take a look at this. Tseco, TGB, folks. And you're gonna see. See this. See this last month. That's what you love to see. See that volume spike. That's what you want to see when you're coming into a swing point. Huge expansion of volume. We're gonna get the same thing. This thing's gonna go bust this uh, 262. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. 
This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down a buck ten. You get the Nasdaq up seventeen. S and P's are off four and a half. Let's go take a look at these S and P's because when we were just uh, on that break, man, there's no doubt this thing uh, came down fast and furious. So let's see what kind of volume we got on this baby. So we take a look at the E minis. <clears throat> right now we're down two fifty. You're trading at uh, fifty two fifty eight, and the high was fifty two eighty. Okay, so let's see. So you got a nice, look at that volume expansion, man. So they took it all the way down. You want to see something cool here, folks. Okay, if you're watching Tiger TV, you can see how these things, you know, the, the last time, watch this. Okay, one second. Let me put this right here so you can see this. That's the last time with volume right there. Now, what has happened is this. You, you can see, you. if you're watching Tiger TV, where I put this, Parallel line, is that the last time with volume on the way up? So we were at highs, getting no volume whatsoever. And you can see when we came down, you came down with heavier volume on that volume bar. Now, when that happens, guess what? You're going to go after this low, man, because the volume was way too much. So if you're going to basically be trading around this thing in the next, you know, half hour or something, I would let this thing get down retest that low low because that's what they normally do and then we go from there let's go to the nqs take a look at the nqs nq it's going to be the same type of setup i just want to see the nqs have been stronger so i want to see if we actually got below that level okay so look at this first let me find the level that's the level right there yeah i did Okay, one second. There we go. Set this up. Is that it? No, this is it. Oh, no, this is it here. I see. Okay. Okay, so you still got 31,000 contracts versus 28. Okay, interesting. So the NQs don't have higher volume. They get 28. Let me go check the S&Ps again just to make sure that I wasn't ballparking it. Because what, what does happen with charts, particularly intraday charts, you can look at these, and many times they look like they have either gone over or under, and you, you really got to check them. Okay, so bring this back. Okay, so we're dealing with... Okay. 80, 
thousand contracts. Yeah, 80,400 contracts. 80, 81,159, right. So what you have here is that you do have, <clears throat> excuse me, folks, the S&Ps have higher volume than the NASDAQ. And you can see, you know, this is kind of intriguing because this is left over from yesterday. You can see that the NDX the composite is stronger than the S&Ps. So we'll see where the rest of this is going to shake out. But that's telling me that the S&Ps will retest their low where the NDX 100 doesn't ha have to retest its low. So pretty wild. Let's get into uh, a couple of these uh, gold and silver stocks. So uh, MAG, we got... <clears throat> when these silver start running, folks, <laughs> forget it. So if we take a look at Mag Silva, now this is this was one of the strongest stocks in the whole complex, folks. Okay, and what had happened is that because they're only mine. Now we own the stock. Okay, this you, you want to take a look at the stock. Okay, I'm going to tell you the bad story, the good, the bad, the ugly on this thing. Okay, I'm going to tell you the bad and the ugly first. So the low for the year is eight dollars. The high is fourteen. Okay. When you take a look at their numbers, you're going to see this is a company that has always made money, okay? This is like, if you're watching Tiger TV, just look at this thing, man. I mean, they just, they just make money, okay? Right from the get-go, this is a silver mine, but the, the, so they're, they're looking to take in $426 million this year, bring 50 cents to the bottom line. Okay, so that's the good. The, the bad, the ugly, is that they only have one mine, and that mine happens to be in Mexico. So what has happened is that the law that they put into Mexico about a year and a half ago is a law that, you know, when you only have one mine and you're in Mexico, it could be closed down, like, really quick. So the market itself, okay, has taken this equity from the $24 level all the way down to the... $8 level, when in fact, they're still making money. But you can see that there's a risk value that's inside of this. That's the bottom line. That's the first part. The second part, though, about where it's at. We, we bought this this week because I kept looking at it and saying to myself, you know what, man? This thing wants to run up until the $17. You can see that it broke. It broke its downtrend. It broke it with conviction. You had... Wide price spread, accelerated volume, bottom line. That's my take where it's going. We'll see from there, but check it out. If you haven't checked out the gold report yet, this is the last week. We're doing the special. It's 35% off, and that price is good forever, folks, okay? So you can check it out. And th this run, I've been in these runs before. Um, the hardest thing in these runs is to know where to take your money, when to take your money, an if to take your money. <laughs> the if is a monster deal, folks, okay? And if you're in this run, the way that I suggest that you look at it is stay with the ABC structures. Because what happens is this, is that ABCs in general, okay? Well, here, let me put this up for a second so you can, really, you can see this. Because... The consolidation was so long inside this gold market. I'm going to bring this back so you can see how this is. Oops. There we go. Come on. Okay. So what you're going to see is you're going to see the A to B was a straight line move. That's about as straight as you can get. And the A to B, so check this out. The A to B... We went from, this goes back to 2018, you went from $1,160 straight up to 2043, okay? So we went up basically, you know, $950. Boom, straight line move. Then what did you do? Then the market drove everyone crazy, man, 
because the bottom line is that you went sideways from June of 2020. Four years, man. You went sideways for four years. This run started in October at a low, a low of 18.09. Well, 25.50, a one-to-one -one ABC structures, you know, we're gonna see that. We very well may see a one to 1.382 run, which is really gonna blow some people's minds. All we see a one to 1.50. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 87. Nasdaq's up 4. S&P's are down 3.5. And, and let's get over into the XAU, the HUI, 
Actually, I'm going to do the SLV first because the SLV is playing catch up here. So the SLV is the ETF for silver. Let me bring this back. Let's see where we stand here. I'll put this on a monthly. Okay, so this is going to get cool. Okay, let's watch this now. Okay, so this is <clears throat> this is the same type of consolidation that gold was doing. And so now we're going to make a run for the 2798 level. <coughs> 3 bucks from here. Let me bring this back a little bit more. Yeah, this is going to be quite a move, man. So the highest that silver went in the 2011 run, I think, was 47 bucks. Let me see what that says. Yeah, it was 48.35. And you can see on this, what, what had happened here. Now, this move... Yeah, it was a 2011 move. What the 2011 move was, folks, okay, and we had the gold report then, and we scored beyond belief. It could be, why did we score? Because we sold all the stocks, folks, okay? If you remember the 2011 move, what it was all about then, and I remember this so well because I was basically saying, okay, man, if you bought gold anywhere close to where we got in at the beginning. I got in at 282, the low is 252. We ran it, and then the key here, now check this out, this is what's so crazy, man. Because the, this, this was one of the best relationships, and you know, it's years that you have to wait for these, but this relationship, was, and I'm sure there's plenty of Tigers that remember this because I said this on CNBC, I said this on Bloomberg, I said it everywhere. Basically, sell all your gold and buy real estate. Because what had happened, and that's what's so crazy about it, man. Like it was, I mean, I don't, I don't think any of us thought real estate would go that low, okay, but it did. And what, what, what had happened is that it's like, okay, you buy 100 ounces of gold at, let's say, 300, so you, you, you got, 30,000 in there, right? Well, you turn around and you're cashing out at, at basically, you know, 1,900, okay? So you're cashing out at 190,000. You take the 190,000, houses that were 300,000 or only 100,000, okay, so the bottom line is you buy two houses. Now, if we fast forward into that one, the bottom line is that you'd, you'd probably have about a million bucks. That's, that's, that was the trade, that is the trade. You know, now the question is, is that, okay, now we get the gold run going again. And what's important to understand about gold companies, okay, if you remember, when I just had Fred Ernest on, okay, all these, these gold companies, folks, okay, these gold companies are making money at gold at the $1,900 level. Never mind the $2,300 level or the $25, or, or no matter where we're going. So what you're going to see, you're going to see a monster expansion of price because every dollar now that gold goes up is going right to the bottom line. And you know, what, what, what you did see is that one, you, you had first movers and Harmony was one of the first movers out there, okay? So picture with Harmony, now it's expensive for them to get gold out of the ground, okay? But they're still at like a 2,000 deal. Well, they're, they're at 1,800 or something, okay? That being said, though, the difference is is that they take millions of ounces out of the ground, millions per year, okay? So you're just talking about, well, here, if you want to see the difference in money where just, now this would be the difference in mostly just the price of gold going up. If you go back five years ago, 29.2 billion, that's Rand dollars, okay? This year, 59.4 
billion rand dollars. So you're talking about a double. A double, folks. A double. Okay? So you're going to see... It's going to get interesting. What I mean by... It, Interesting. I don't even like that word, interesting. Um, it, it, it's going to get fun, let's put it that way. Uh, because the, the run seems like you've gone so far already, but yet it may be just starting. If you listen to Tim Wood, I was listening to Tim and uh, Jacob yesterday, and <laughs> when, when Wood said he thinks that these gold equities will go up 90% from where we are. Yeah, it, 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 listen, I've, he's seen it happen in 2000. We got the run from 2000 to 2011. And, you know, what, what happens in bull markets, folks, we're all geniuses. That's the bottom line. <laughs> and so it's the market that, that makes it happen. But, uh, you know, <laughs> that's what, now what this is also saying, this is, what, this is a trip. Okay, so in, in the 70s, right? Now, I was young enough in the 70s that I understood what was going on because I, I still had a restaurant, okay? I had a food truck. I had one of the first, first food trucks anywhere. I got it off the Air Force, actually. Obi's Ark. Ark was a Roman kitchen. It was a huge steel truck. Anyway, what happened there was this, is that in the supermarkets, you remember Nixon actually put uh, price controls and he had it because what was going on, man, you'd go get a, a half gallon of milk and every single day, every single price went up in the supermarket. So, okay, now fast forward, you put the price controls on, bottom line, interest rates, 14 and a half, 15%. So Paul Vol Volcker got, got a hand on it, okay? That being said, though, even when you get a hand on it, it lags in a big way. Specifically, it just doesn't go away. And so what I remember so explicitly, same thing, I'm gonna go back to real estate again because I've been in real estate forever, since 1970. So what happened is that the acceleration on real estate went exponential. What's happening right now, my take is the exact same thing that what you have is that you have a situation. Oh yeah, stay right there, we'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 42, Nasdaq's up 34, S&P's are up 3.5. And, and we're talking about the aspect of uh, inflation lagging. And we're going to go, and this is where these commodities run, folks, okay? And it's the... It's running along the same lines. That's, that's the bottom line of the 70s. Because the bottom line is that, yeah, the way that the data is coming in, you know, we'll see whether we get three rate cuts or two rate cuts, but we're on the other side of the cycle. That's the bottom line. Now, Powell's and the Fed are paranoid. There's no two ways about that. But they probably have reason to be paranoid because let's take a look right now at the oil market, okay? What you're going to see, my, my take is that copper actually gave us the heads up that copper start moving and start moving really fast and highly volatile copper is as volatile as, as a silver market then you saw it gold start starting to pick up gold took over what's happening now is that you get silver trying to catch up copper is definitely leading man okay now now I'm gonna do CL1 I'm gonna put this oil market up because the kicker here is going to be if the dollar gives it up. If the dollar gives it up, man, I'm telling you, um, you'll hear nothing but commodities. And we haven't had that in years, you know. And in the last 30 years, you've only had this a couple times, maybe three times, meaning commodity runs. Because commodity runs is something else, man. Because the reason that there's something else is that they're traded in the future market so dramatically. That's why. Okay, so let's see, 95 bucks, man, huh? 81's the low. Yeah. So this is getting interesting, man. I mean, it looks to me, this is going to be crazy, man, that oil wants to go to 95 bucks. Because what you have here is your next swing point's 95 bucks. There's really nothing stopping oil until $90. You know, so that's saying that this run is on, man. And that is going to have to do with the dollar. Because the, the dollar has been strong. The dollar gives up a little. And we haven't even seen the, the aspect of huge amounts of folks going in the market simultaneously yet. You know, and when you get that, you're going to get, like, what some of these gold stocks, well, some of the silver stocks are doing. Look, look at this. So the silver stocks today, because most of the silver companies, folks, all do millions of ounces of silver. So when you start, you know, going a million times $2, guess what? You're, you're making money hand over fist. Now, you can see this here. This is First Majestic. I mean, it's up $1. five today. It's only a $7 stock. Okay. I put this back, what you're going to see, this, this is just coming off the lows. I mean, this has been a, a disaster, but you can see the, bo the bottom line is that right now, just this equity alone, I'm not going to bring it to the very top. Yeah, see, the, some of these numbers are insane. Okay, it's trading 750. This wants to go to $18.93. 
And then, uh, this is even better, it has a swing high, high volume swing high at $24. So you can see that the run itself, let me see if this works. No, that one doesn't work. See, because what I mean doesn't work, if you're watching Tiger TV, you need, when you're doing trim lines, you gotta, you gotta hit at least three bars. But the bottom line is that this thing here is saying flat out 18 bucks, and let's see what numbers they come up with. So they have, come on. Next time they come up with numbers is May 3rd. They're gonna do 489 million. Look at that, and they're saying they're not gonna make money though. They're gonna lose 22 cents. Well, two cents. They're not gonna, <laughs> this is where this is gonna get different. They're not gonna be losing two cents. <clears throat> well, we'll wait till they come out with a, a, a new estimate, because that's what they're gonna end up doing. A lot of these companies are gonna come out with new estimates where the price of the actual commodity, and then they'll multiply it times, the analysts are gonna multiply it times the amount that they take out of the ground, you know, so. It's gonna be a wild one, man. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities and see what we have out here today. You got Intel's down 350. They're, they're having problems with their foundries. You get Nvidia off four bucks, no big deal there. Uh, Paramount Global, they're gonna, Paramount Global and, what's the other one, hold on one second. These guys just signed a 30 day deal about merging, I think. Paramount on oh, Sundance, I think, right? Yeah, Paramount and Sundance strike a uh, tentative deal for Paramount stake. Paramount discussing exclusive acquisition talks with uh, Sundance. Paramount's got a lot of uh, good programs on, man. You know, I've been, I've been watching a lot of them, actually. Uh, okay, so what, what else we got? We got Micron Tech, that's technology, that's up four bucks, four and a half dollars. Amazon's up a buck fifty six. Look at Dell. Holy cow. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna pull up Dell. Dell's up ten dollars, man. Dell, it, Michael Dell, I mean, you talk about just under the radar, right? I mean, he's a guy that. No doubt started, you know, the PC business, was very good at it, brought his company private, pulled it back out and got public again, low key, and this stock has just been on a tear, man. I mean, look at this. And six months has gone from 68 to 128. And they... Let's see what they're doing. Unreal. 93 billion. Unreal. 93 billion is only 52 weeks in the year. Can you imagine that? And they bring $7 to the bottom line. That is one big number. And that's running at a, see, it's a decent PE too, man. This is, this is 17 PE. You paid $17 for a dollar of earnings, man. So that is pretty intense. There's no doubt about that, man. That's, that is one good run. Let's go over to Amazon and see what Amazon's doing because what Amazon has done the last couple of days, they're, they're cutting expenses big time, man, this new CEO. So Amazon, they got rid of their cashless account, well, they, they, they had a new technology that's totally cashless. We, they had cameras all over the tops of the stores. They had cameras in your carts. And what you used to be able to do is just walk through the store, grab whatever you want, walk out, your credit card gets charged. Bottom line, they can that whole deal. Um, you know, and that's going to, well, you can see it's going to save them a lot of money. Uh, smart, though. You know, something doesn't work, get rid of it, go to the next thing. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow. Dow is down 13. NASDAQ up 38. S&P is up 7. We'll come right back.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv welcome back folks and folks don't forget about the gold report this is the last week you want 35 percent off check it out and the the on monday you actually, everyone got a, a, an email with the promotion. Well, the, gold, the, the actual copy of this week's gold report is in there if you want to check it out. Um, Market-wise out here, bottom line, my take, we still want higher prices. And in this particular case, see, it keeps shifting from why we want higher prices. But the longer-term trend is up and people continue to buy. And there's no sellers. That's, that's the bottom line. That's how this shakes out. So one day, all of a sudden, you know, we had the notes and bonds. They went down. Well, well, they, they went down on price, up on yield dramatically. It hit the bond market, but yet it only hit the equity market for a day. The dollar overtook it today. You can see yeah, we're not up a lot, but the bottom line, we're not down. And that's what I expect you're going to continue to see because if this dollar gives it up, you are going to see an expansion inside this S&P, inside the NASDAQ, and of course inside the commodities. The, the commodity run is on, you know. But let me just, I'm curious what Coco is doing because Coco re reached 10,000 bucks a uh, contract. Okay, one second, let's see. Coco, 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 Coco. Is that Coco? Whoops. Come on. Whoops. Wrong one. How did I do that?
There we go. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we're at 9,500 now. It, today's the first day it's down. Imagine that. Pretty heavy. Gotta love the chocolate, man. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Hi, folks.